Okay, so this is how we're going to construct our pyramid. As you can see, I've got four bits of paper on the ground. They are there for the purpose of the video. Ordinarily, I wouldn't use those, but I've mapped them out to be about five and a half feet apart, and they are going to be the foundation stones of the pyramid. I also have four sticks, which are a little bit taller than myself, so they'll be just over six foot. They're as straight as I could get them, and I've already taken off the rough bits, so I don't need to worry about that for this video. And around my neck here I have uh, three lengths of rope. The ends are being sealed. Ordinarily I'll probably use twine, but uh, for the video I'm going to use the thicker rope. And they are three feet long each. I'm going to take the first two sticks, place them on the paper, and just lean them forward on the ground, and have them crossing over by about a foot, or a foot and a half. I'll then take the second two sticks, again, just putting them on the paper, Laying them down so they cross over by about a foot or a foot and a half. So far, nothing complicated about that. I'm going to take my first length of rope and double it over. With the two sticks lying on the ground, I'm looking for where they cross over. I'm going to take my string two ends together, pull it tight, and that'll give me the halfway point. Poke it under there. And just tie a granny knot. So I'm just going to cross the strings over, pull the two ends through, pull it tight, cross the strings over, pull the looped end through, and pull that one tight. And then I'll repeat that for the other pair of sticks. Okay, so being a solitary and doing this can be a little complicated, but this will make the whole job a whole lot easier by having them facing in the same direction. I'm going to take the third rope and put it back over my neck. Stand in the middle between the two crossovers, pick up the first one, start to raise it, Pick up the second one, and all you have to do is lean one against the other. Do maybe a little bit of jiggling just to cross them over, get them to slot together. To tie the two triangles together, I'm going to take my rope and double it over, and simply wrap it around the crossover. If you need to use a stronger knot, use a stronger knot, but I'm just going to wrap it around, poke the ends through, and pull tight. That'll help bring the sticks together. Bring them back together again, poke, this time by poking the loop through, and pulling it tight. And that's the double granny knot to keep it all together. And as you can see, we've just completed our pyramid. That's all it is. Four sticks, roughly six foot long, maybe a little longer, as straight as you can, three bits of rope, and there is our pyramid. Good enough for a white rabbit to investigate and sniff around. <laughs>